Yeah, I don't think the security gives a fuck about your hippos, you. Yeah, I don't think they care about any of that. I don't even think they care about anything apart from taking you to fucking brown town and fucking giving up your fucking cards and making sure you answer some fucking questions. Like, straight in. They just got fucked up immediately. It's like, fucking Sawatari, you couldn't last, like, fucking one turn, bro? One turn and you got fucking annihilated? And throughout this entirety of this duel, I'm like, you are super butter. You got owned by security in one turn. Like, how the fuck? Like, like, Sarah, like, she's like, she fucked up. I'm, I, I don't even, I want to get into her as well, because like, she fucked up the entire plan. Oh no, I'm just gonna take all of you guys off because I no 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 fuck teamwork. Fucking Yu is the only one there and he's like dicking around as well. He's like going there, ladies and gentlemen, you're now about to get arrested, you yeah. Like I'm sure your father go, oh, fucking ladies and gentlemen, I fucked up. He's like what the fuck guys? So yeah, definitely this art episode of the Arc D, it was like a weird one. Fucking Rayra was like fucking losing his shit, crying. He's like, I need Oni San, like, like Oni Chan, go and get him. But, like, go and get my Oni. Like, I need him super bad, like, cause I'm like incredibly fucking terrified right now. Like, and I like that Yuya was trying to act like a big brother role. He's saying, No, you're fucking here. I mean, fucking Reiji. Like, 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 what the fuck is he gonna do? <laughs> like, like, he's just gonna say, Yo, step up, bitch. Like, <laughs> that's all he's gonna fucking say. And it's just like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, if he's got family around him or anything like that, or, like, people he knows that are near him, then I'm sure he'd be worried. But, like, since he didn't know where the fuck they were, he had, like, a mini panic attack. So it was up to, Sir like, Zana and also as well Yuya to clear up house because Saratari got fucked up. And the deck seems like it's supposed to take out things immediately. It summons in there, like, that, like, Vigilante, like, Type Zero. Which every time I think of that name, I just think about Final Fantasy Type Zero and how good of a fucking game that is. It's like, wait, why are they talking about Type Zero? Like, it was like Hazy Mist Vigilante or something. It was like a level seven at 2400 attack, and its effect is you get rid of the card, it destroys a card, and it deals 400 points of damage, which is a co uh, cool card to actually work on. Um, I hope it just doesn't have to work on those Jute and those little Vigilante cards that they had. I hope it's like just the normal one. So that could work well with like. You know, like handless like cards that like, you have to deal with. Like, I mean, it's not a very threatening card, but it definitely is. It like, I mean, it like in theory, it can just deal like if you have like a full like blown of cards just out there, it can do four thousand damage in like one turn, which is impressive. But during like how most rules are nowadays, it's like yeah, you play by eight thousand, you're gonna get fucked if you do that unless you like run in thirties or something. But it's like. The deck was cool, yeah, it's like we didn't really see anything new to it, we just saw the same cards, like definitely, like Sarah was dealing with that as well, it was just like, oh, she wanted to get her opponent, because her opponent didn't have like the fucking lucky hand that he, this guy did, and like Yuya, like we saw like a bunch of new cards, like we saw a bunch, like some new end mates, we saw like the the monkey, like the, the weird piano monkey that looks fucking terrifying, it looks like it should be long, uh, belong in Five Nights at Freddy's, and I believe the other one was like a jute snake or something like a jute snake which allows you to draw a card it's like i like that he's got different cards like that like they all deal and then he's also as well got the entomate big band card which lets you um, return monsters by the amount of entomates you've got on the field that's a good card and i'm thinking like pretty much every i believe entomate is a pendulum at this point i believe they are like i'm not too sure if all of them are I know most of them work in it, so I'm kind of curious if, like, you have to ask me in the comment section down below, because I don't really keep up too much with the card game nowadays, like, I've been wanting to get back in through it for a while, uh, so answer me in the comment section down below, um, are all intimates like pendulum cards, or is it just a certain amount of them, because, yeah, it seems like all of them are pretty much pendulum cards, so, that's definitely interesting, something with the uh, Yu deck, and for the stuff that I've seen with, like, the new cards, especially with the fusion cards and the synchros, yeah, it's going to work extremely well, and I'm looking forward to, like, what's going to be happening now with, like, the rest of New Year's Dead with the fusions and the synchros and everything that's going to be going down. So I'm looking forward to seeing that, like, the synchro card definitely in this arc. And how they managed to escape was, like, it was weird because, like, they were saying, oh, you Ray like, you're going to take Ray Rest, uh, I don't know. No, I'm just going to be uh, butthurt taking out fucking all the security. And then it was like, no, fucking Crow decided to cut. Like, that was probably the best part of the episode when he just came. And he summoned a new Blackwing monster, which was called uh, Blackwing, um, or as they call it, like, you know, Black Feather. 
Raikiri, uh, I think it was like Raikiri the something storm, I believe. It was like, it was pretty badass. It had like 26 or 2700 attack points and we didn't really get to see what it did. Or apart from that, him and his crew just came and like fucking rescued everyone. So I'm really curious because everyone keeps saying this isn't part of the fighting universe and I'm guessing it isn't in, in its own way, but at the same time, it's like, if you're gonna have the ca characters there, then what's the point of fucking, like, not including the universe there, you include everything in the Synchro Dimension? But mind you, even in the Synchro Dimension, there was in 5Ds that character that did use fusions, not to mention as well, you say use fusions as well at one point. So, very curious about that, and, uh, yeah, like, what more, I need more clarity, basically, on this, like, whole thing that's going down. And maybe at the end of the like, day we might see you say or something, that might be cool. But overall, this episode kind of annoyed me for the most part. I mean, the, the crow, crow bit really made up for it at the end, um, definitely. Uh, overall, I don't know why I get it, because it was like, we got to see a lot of New Year's new cards, but it was just like, it was a lot of stalling to be there, so it felt like it was just there, and then it was like, oh no, here's a cool moment, here's Crow, so I lit like a six. It was a fine episode, I'd say it's a six, uh, to be honest, but. Yeah, let me know in the comments section down below what you thought about this one, but that's all for me, so thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.